I look like a hot mess, but quick update. Um, I'm currently cleaning all of my studio. I am not doing well, like not doing well at all mentally right now, I think. But besides that, I'm going to just kind of put that aside and clean up my house. <laughs> Everything in my life right now is a mess. My house, me, my mind, everything's a mess. But um, I think it's kind of been enough time where I want to finally have like a small get together housewarming party, like a small get together of friends to welcome in the new space. I've been delaying it for so long because, you know, everything is still very unfinished and very unpacked because I just haven't been doing well mentally and it just hasn't like allowed me to actually fully unpack and move into this space and just like be at peace. But I already told everyone that today is going to be the day we're going to have a little potluck and whatnot and I think it's going to be fun. A lot of good friends are coming like Megan and Benji and Chris and also Dustin. I'm probably sure a lot of you watch Dustin's vlogs as well but I met him through Benji and now it's just like really funny and interesting to be like a part of this like network of Asian YouTubers, creators and whatnot. I've got about two hours or so. I've been cleaning all morning. Um, and Dumpling has just been laying around like he always does. So I'm just gonna make everything look as presentable as it is and really focus on the food.
Hey, so I don't have a sponsor for this video, but I kind of wanted to take some time to just like plug in my own stuff because I'm having a shop update really soon. It should be a week from now and I'm very nervous about it because it's the first time that I'm getting off of Etsy and you know, coming back with a shop reopening for the first time in like six months or so. So I kind of wanted to like showcase some of the things that I'm bringing to the shop. Last year around spring, I had these really cute little jewelry trays and also paintbrush holders and I actually have a few left over so this is going to be the last time that I'm going to be stocking these guys and then I'm going to move on to like more fun ceramic things after this but yeah if you would like these these will be in this update and this update only. I have some really fun pride stickers this month and this is my first time kind of making pride merch which I'm very proud about. Here's the first sticker it's very glittery it says let them eat cake and it's really sweet and then another one that's very cute and pastel is this one right here which got bunny and bear clouds yeah so these are some cuties for some cutie bipocs and um yeah this is like my way of kind of just saying to the internet for the first time that i'm queer and ah it's just like ah very nerve-wracking to like kind of just pronounce that into the world but yeah happy pride <laughs> i really hope you guys enjoy these stickers i think it's really and important to be supporting small businesses and queer artists this month and every other month of the year but yeah please enjoy <laughs> i feel like i've grown this like weird internalized pressure to like come out more especially since it's pride month um maybe i'll get more into that another time but this is all for now so happy pride please have a wonderful June. Know that you are loved and I love you all and I'm just happy to be thriving and doing what I can and to be loved by those around me. So yeah, happy pride. <laughs> and then I have some soft good items that I'm testing out for the first time in the shop. So here is like a pencil pouch with like an embroidery cat tapestry and some decals on the back, which is like a nice canvas tote and then a, a real canvas tote bag, which has a gusset. Everyone loves that gusset. Very nice material, thick canvas and like thick handled tote bag. These two will also be limited runs for like this shop reopening only. So um, after this, I'm going to look into making like screen printed tote bags. So if you would like one of these where it has like a multicolored tote bag, this will be the only time to get them at this shop update. And just to like show off some like fun things I've had in the works for this shop reopening is I have a cute new business card with a really fun QR code. It has like flowers and hearts in it. And then I have a cute little sticker, freebie sticker. Just a very shy worm. Um, will you still love me if I'm a worm kind of energy? <laughs> So if you're interested, I'll have more info in the bio. The shop update will be on the 18th of June, if everything goes smoothly. So I'll see you there. I also made a new links page. I'm being like really proactive and productive about what I'm like, like how I'm marketing myself, I guess. There should be like a email sign up for like a newsletter. If you would like to sign up for that, you could keep up to date with stuff and also when the shop update will be open, you'll be notified then. And then last thing about the shop update, patrons will have early access one day before and then also certain tiers will have a discount. So if you would like any of those perks, you can join my Patreon any time of the month. Yeah, um, I will look forward to seeing you at the shop update. Bye.
in the mail and this came in. It's like a toaster oven and this is probably the most fucked up I've seen something be packaged. And I'm kind of worried about opening it. Uh, I hope I have my toaster oven though. I love a giant gash in the side. Oh, I guess it's there. Hello. You'd be so sad when you just have a little flower on your head and it just feels really silly to be like wearing stuff like this and that kind of gets me through the day <laughs> rushing out the door but look at my makeup today I'm getting a tattoo I'm actually getting three but they're all like kind of small and cohesive so they're all gonna be like kind of together so it's basically like one big tattoo but I'm getting a tattoo uh, I have to go now because I have to be there in like 30 minutes but I have also been playing around with my makeup I kind of just wanted to talk about it more because like most of my family knows now that I'm getting tattoos so who cares? Yeah, it's just kind of like a fun little life event, so I wanted to document it a little more. Originals. And after this, all the wrapping is done. And I'll explain what you show me your ball. Show me your ball! Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> it's a meatball. It's just a little messy ball. So it's 2.40 a.m. now and I totally forgot to update about the tattoos, but here they are! I have a second skin on them. Um, and the reason why it's 2.40 a.m. and why I'm still up is because I'm actually still packing to go to Vegas and that's what's happening. I have to be up in two hours to catch a flight to Vegas. Uh, life is hard, but here is the tattoo. I still have the second skin on it, but it says always in bloom. And then this is the second one, which is a flower that complements this other tattoo that I already have. And I really need to take the second skin off soon because it's getting concerning. So I'll do that when I wake up in two hours. Oh uh, yeah, timing of things has been really interesting, but I'm going to Vegas, I'm gonna go see Tiff, so. Yay! I should really sleep now. <laughs> hey, better quality. Day one of Vegas, baby. Bye, bye. And we're 
running on what? Five hours of sleep oh! total. Hi Tiffany! I'm food coming. Welcome to Vegas. <laughs> Welcome to Vegas. Exclusive access. Exclusive. Taste test. <laughs> what is yours? Mine is citrus flavored. Mine is peach. I think that one's pretty good. You think so? Yes. Curious. Oh, this is really good. Yeah, I do like it. Sparkling water. Taste test complete. Full day of work later. What time is it? Hot, hot, hot. That's heckin' right. It's food time. Oh, oh Megan's coming. Good. Oh, I love him. Oh, shit. I'll try to see if I can cut print the labels. Like, I just don't know what's gonna be in each order, so I pack it first and then make them. I need to get back into it. Yeah, <laughs> give a head back. You got it. Stop. Would you like to see what I have? Please, please, the meal's still in. Look at it. It's strange. Enough, I couldn't find. I like. Mm. I'll just keep. I think so, yeah. Until someone buys. I keep wanting to call yeah. Snow Dumpy. Shakia. Say this was pretty successful. Yeah. I feel like we're still gonna be hungry. I do. You do? I think we'll put it. Can I invite it? <laughs> <laughs>
What are we doing tonight this morning? Watching my premiere. Heck yeah. Ah. I was out until like three last night and dying. But you know, it would be nice if Snow was like sitting right here. I would love a cat right now. <laughs> Videoception. Let's all think. <laughs> I've been in Vegas for a few days now, and it's been pretty nice. I haven't been really, like, vlogging consistently, uh, because it's just nice to be, like, in the moment, hanging out with people. I'm a bit of a mess these days, but that's fine. Um, just kind of, like, distracting myself, keeping myself busy with some good company, um, in Vegas, and it's really nice to be hanging out with Tiff a lot, because it's been a while since we've been able to like hang out like this and it's really great because um, I haven't been super productive or like able to work a lot but now that I'm like around TIFF and like around the Red Door house it's nice to just be in like a very productive working environment this is my temporary bed um, but hello so I think I'm building up my rapport of floral tattoos because that's what I really love the most. Um, I'm definitely gonna get like other themed tattoos I guess as well but I definitely resonate a lot with flowers and just nature and so this one's actually one of my favorite ones that I got. It's like uh, tulips and some daisies and it says always in bloom and then on the back is two different types of flowers. I just really love how um, like cute they look. They kind of remind me of little eggs as well. And these are done by two different artists. Um, the bundle of three is by Clementine Eyes Waverly. And then the large one is done by Rainbow Tattoo Carlos. I'm just really in love with tattoos, especially with hand poke, just because it seems, for me, it just seems like more special, more intimate, more very unique. I feel like there's like very interesting ways to like build up textures and like play with a lot of techniques with hand poke. So it's very interesting. And also I just really like following a lot of tattoo artists these days. They are very cool and I admire them so much. Yeah, that is my little tattoo tour. And obviously I have this one here. It is big. And this one's done by Jasmine. Who is Cup of Jasmine. And it was very nice meeting her in New York. Also, isn't it funny for me to just be in this room? It's like crossover time. Apple cheeks, X thanks you, crossover. What a lovely little setup. You like oysters? There are certain oysters I like. I don't like the big. I'm not really into. Do you need a fix it? How many hours of sleep do we sleep? Three? I don't Two? even know anymore. <laughs> Tofu. 
Nature. 